What does the research look like? 67% of employees saying their preferred communication channel for important information that affects their local work area is face-to-face. 5% -face. prefer written. Close to 95% of companies lead with written communication to their employees. Hey, <laughs> who's, who's checking the data? You know, how many times did you go to your employees and say, how would you like to hear about important information that affects your local worker? And they said, I'd like a brochure, please. This is a marketing study by a famous marketing study by a guy by the name of Bales, and he looked at 13 different new products, and he looked at the effect of mediated information, TV, radio, and newspaper, and what he found was that for each one unit increase in mediated information, TV, radio, or newspaper, you get 0 .03 change in the purchase of a new product. Very, very small slope. Then he looked at word of mouth. Word of mouth, 0.38. For every one unit change in word of mouth, there's a 0.38 change in purchasing a new product. That's a reasonable slope. It's also the case that word of mouth is 13 times more powerful than TV, radio, newspaper. Because it's the face-to-face -face component that drives the behavior change, not the mediated information. Take this into our world. Fabulous study by the IABC Research Foundation by Patricia Whalen. She looked at over 50 mergers. The study's only two, three years old, and it's brilliantly done. And what she showed was that formal communication, websites, emails, brochures, town hall meetings, had a zero slope. They had no effect, zero, on merger synergies, meaning in decreases in costs or increases in revenue, actual dollar figures. When she looked at the informal face-to-face -face communication, the slope was 0.53. For every one unit increase that companies did in their informal face-to-face -face communication, they got half a unit increase in their mergers and synergies. That's a big 